I'm here today with a declutter video. This is my very first decluttering video. It's going to be like a declutter slash MAC lipstick collection because I'm going to be decluttering my MAC lipsticks. There's a few that are missing because they're either like in my purse or they're in random areas around my house, but this is like 98% of the bulk of my collection. So if you want to declutter my MAC lipsticks and kind of see my collection, then just stay tuned. Okay. So we're going to try to do some MAC decluttering. This is all my MAC lipsticks for the most part. I might have a couple in my car, but this is the majority of them. So what I store them in, these are actually like ice cube trays. This is just a regular lipstick holder, um, but these are ice cube trays. They're like sports cube trays. So they're like rounded at the bottom and they were, this one was this ugly blue color. I spray painted it silver. This one is green and I just didn't spray paint it, but they fit the bullets perfectly. This is not something I discovered. It's Kirsten. My friend Kirsten from It's Kirsten discovered this and um, they work perfectly. I think she did. She's the one who told me about it. So you can get them off Amazon. I'll leave the link below, but it fits the bullets perfectly so you can see the color. So for the most part, I kind of have them organized. Now this is years of collecting lipsticks. I also have my Mac Pro card and if you return six empty products, you do get a free lipstick, which I depotted a ton of eyeshadows years ago and that's where I got a ton of these. So I'm gonna kind of go through and we're gonna start decluttering these lipsticks because there's a lot of them that I have that I never wear and don't mind my really bad self tan hands and my chip nails. So we're gonna start over here. This is the color Twig. This is a newer one. I love this color. It's a perfect um, kind of mauve -y. Oh my gosh, that color is so pretty. So I'm keeping Twig. I think this color is beautiful. Okay. Next color we have is Plumful. This is a really pretty mid-tone pink color. I love it. It's one of my favorites, so this is not going anywhere. And this next one is called Peach Blossom. This is really pretty too. This is a really great light nude. I would recommend this if you are a nude girl. This is a really pretty one without being too concealery. So I'm going to keep that one, Peach Blossom. This other color is Brave. These are all kind of my nude ones. Again, this one's a newer one, so I'm not gonna get rid of that one. I really like this one. Next one is Cream in Your Coffee. This is also a newer one. This is a darker mauve nude, um, kind of like a Kylie Jenner type 90s lip. So I like that one. I'm gonna keep that one. Syrup, another favorite. Uh, this one is another dusty, like rosy pink color. Really, really like that one. Right. So this next one is called Flare for Finery. This was a limited edition one. It's very, very light, but I really like this one. Um, even though it's a very concealery color, uh, it's really pretty if you do like a little bit of a darker pink lip liner. So I'll keep that one. This is kind of a collection video too. This one is called Close Contact. This one's a little bit more peachy, like a peachy nude, but I like it. Um, I'm not really big on the peach toned lipstick, especially for nudes, but this one I do like, and that one is Close Contact. This one's blankety. This one's another favorite. You can see there's not much left of it. I think I depotted some of this and I love this one. It's a really great, really great nude. Blankety. Everybody needs blankety in their life. This one is Viva Glam 2. This one is a little bit of a brownie nude for me, but I still like it. Um, right there. Viva Glam 2. I'm going to keep that one. This one I think I depotted a 2. That's why why it's a little bit flat, but yeah, that's a great color. I need to use that again. This is Flesh Pot. This one I also depotted. It's very, very messy looking. This one's a great one to lighten up um, darker colors. I must have used it with a brighter pink and that's why there's pink all over it. So that one needs to be cleaned up, but I'm gonna keep that one. This one is Fabby. This is a newer one. It's a frost finish, which I'm not really a huge fan of frost finishes, but this one's actually really pretty. It has, I don't know if you can catch the gold kind of sheen it has to it, but it's really beautiful and it doesn't look too frosty when you have it on the lips. So that one's really pretty. I hope this is in focus. This is like a really weird angle for me. Okay, this next one is Hot Gossip. I love this one. It's a little bit more of a cooler toned or a warmer toned pink, uh, but really beautiful. Um, I wasn't planning on swatching all these, but, but I guess I will. So that one's pretty. I, I like that one for like the springtime. I think it's really pretty. This one is called Naked Bud. This one is, is not bad too. I like this one. Um, this one has, it's a luster, so it's lighter. Oh, I need to use that more. That's really pretty. That one is Naked Bud. So I'm gonna keep that. Flora de Coral, they like kind of struck right through it. So this one, I don't know if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna keep this one. Um, I don't know, that's really pretty, but I don't ever wear this color. 
I don't like the way it looks on me. So I think I might pass this one on or sell this one. I've never used it, but yeah, that color just, I don't think it looks very flattering on me. So we're gonna put that up here. I think that one I will get rid of. Okay, this next one, Speed Dial. This is a great pink. It's a little bit of a hotter pink. Um, I'm running out of space here. Yeah, that's pretty. It's a little bit of a coral pink, but I really like it. So that one's Speed Dial. That's definitely a permanent collection color. This was from Marilyn Monroe collection, but they also have it in their permanent. This is Pure Zen. I like this one. It is a little bit of a peachier nude, but I like that color. So I'm going to keep Pure Zen. This is Ponder Me or Pander Me. This is a newer one. This one's a little bit more of a burnty, like burnt orangey color. Oh, but I really like that. That's really pretty. Yeah, definitely a little bit of a like orangey brown color, but I don't really have anything like that in my collection. So I'll keep that one. This one is called Pure Decoration. This one is... Yeah, um, another one of those peach colors. It's a nude peach, but I don't really... I don't think I'll ever wear that, so I'm gonna pass that one on or sell that one. This one's Cut a Caper. This one is a peachy coral color. It's really pretty. I'm gonna keep this one because this one I actually might wear. Um, it's a it's a pretty coral, but it's not too bright and neon. So that one's Cut a Caper and I will keep that one. This one is Love Lauren. It's a newer one. I really like it. It's a everyday pink color. So Love Lauren, I will keep that. This one is Bombshell. This is a frost. You can see it has a little bit of like that gold frost to it, um, but it's really pretty and it's not too frosty on the lips. So I like that one. I'm gonna keep Bombshell. I don't even think I've worn it yet. It's a newer one. Please Me, this is one I've had for a long time. I really like this one. It's a matte, but it's a really great matte pink, so I'm gonna keep that. Pink Plaid is one of my all-time favorites. It's a great kind of blue-toned, Pink, really like that one, so I'm gonna keep that one. This one's called Girl Next Door. This was from the Archie collection. It's a really light bubblegum pink. I think I'm gonna pass this one on just because I'm never gonna really wear it. So I'm gonna put that one away. So we've got Snob, I'm almost out of this one. This one's a great one. A really light pale pink, so I'm gonna keep that. This one is Rose Lily. Another really light pink. This one's a luster though. But that's really pretty. This kind of so that one's rose lily. I'm gonna keep that. This one is Viva Glam Gaga. I have two of these actually. Um, I never really wear them, but I really like that color. So I have two. I probably don't need to. Um, that one I obviously depotted, so I'll keep the depotted one. But I think I'm going to um, pass this one on because this one I've probably only swatched and maybe wore once. Here, okay. This one is Sweet Experience. And it's like a bright neon pinky color. Yeah, I'm just never gonna wear that. It's beautiful, but it's just too Barbie for me. So sweet experience, I'm gonna pass that one on or sell that one. Okay, the next one is Viva Glam Nikki. This one's a really warm toned color, but that's pretty. I'm gonna try to rock that this, this spring. So I'm gonna keep that. Pink Nouveau is one of my favorites. This is a darker blue toned pink, really pretty, so I'm keeping that. Highly recommend Pink Nouveau. This one is Pink Pearl Pop, I love this one. It's a really pretty coral. I like that one a lot. Uh, this one is called Sunny Soul, I re highly recommend this one if you like corals. This one's a really pretty coral. Has a little bit of a sheen to it, so that one's Sunny Soul, I'm gonna keep that. This one is Honey Love. This is a kind of brownie nude, but I really like that. I don't know why it's way over here, but I'm gonna keep Honey Love. I'm gonna actually move it over to my nude section. This one is Morning Rose, and it's a little bit of a browner color. It's a cream sheen. That's really pretty. It has a lot of pink in it, so I'm gonna keep that one too. I'm gonna move that over to my more nude set over here. This one's Sushi Kiss. Um, I've never worn it. It's a really vivid orange that I don't think I'm ever gonna wear, so I'm gonna get rid of that one too. It's really pretty, but I just don't ever wear that color. It is Betty Bright. This is another bright coral from the Archie collection. This is really pretty, but I just never wear this color. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm getting rid of two of my Archie ones, it's so sad. Okay, this one's Fusion Pink. Um, this one is a Amplified. Really, really pretty. Um, it has a little bit of a sheen to it, 
but I have so many red colors or like reddish pink ones that I like better than this one. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that one too. This one is called Real Sexy and I depotted part of this. It's another bright orangey coral. I never wear this. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one too. I, I don't know why I buy all these like bright neon coral colors because I never wear them. This is another one, Flamingo. Really pretty, but I just don't wear these colors. I don't think they look flattering on me. Um, that one's so pretty, but yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that one too. Um, it kind of melted a little bit, but you can see I've like not even really used it. So we'll do a blog sell with that. This one is heroin. I love this and this is not going anywhere. I love that purple. So keeping heroin, we're kind of getting into the purples here. This is Violetta. I depotted this one too. Really pretty purple. It's an amplified, but almost is like a little frosty, but it's pretty. It's kind of like a little bit of a shinier version of heroin. This one is Feel My Pulse. This was from some collection, limited edition. This is pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. I love purples, so probably won't get rid of any of those. Uh, this is a retro matte. This is Riri Boy, and this one's melty too. This is like a real dusty purple, but it's really pretty. The retro mattes are kind of are really drying, but I like that color. I don't have anything else really like that because it's kind of like a dusty muted purple. This one used to be my favorite. This is Purple Right from their like animal collection. Like this is really old. Um, but I don't care. It's a frost, but I love this. I've, you know, gone through quite a bit of it. So I'm going to keep that. And I love the packaging. I just can't part with it. This is uh, creme de la femme. This one's a little bit more of a pinky purple. I love that. This is also a frost, but I like this color a lot. So I'm going to keep that one. This one is heavenly hybrid. Beautiful. Color. Oh my gosh. I love this one. I don't know if it was limited edition, but really pretty. So I'm keeping that. I'm gonna have a difficult time parting with any purples, to be honest. Dish It Up, this was limited edition too. It's been re-promoted a couple times, keeping that. Really, really pretty. Up The Amp, this is permanent, but it's so pretty, I'm keeping that. That Up The Amp is almost like the Riri Boy one, but a shinier version and a lot more comfortable to wear. So if you didn't get the Riri Boy, try Up The Amp. This one is Dodgy Girl, and this is the Kelly Osborne collection. It's a little bit of a lighter purple. Oh, I need to pull this one out. That is so pretty. Love that. I forgot I owned that. This is good for me. Okay, uh, bubble gum. This was from a collection a long time ago. This is a glaze. This one's so pretty too. Okay, these are gonna be pulled out this spring for sure. This one is Blooming Lovely. This is an old one too. Really pretty purple. So I'm gonna keep that. And this one is Viva Glam Nikki 2. Oh my gosh. I never wear that color, but I can't part with it. I love Nicki Minaj, so sorry. Not going anywhere. This okay. one is Instigator. It's a really dark, dark, dark color. Um, I'm gonna keep it because I don't have anything quite like that. That that that's that dark. This one is Hang Up, one of my favorites. Uh, for the fall winter time. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. This is limited edition packaging, but it is in their permanent line. Hang up, beautiful. Dark side, another one I'm not gonna get rid of. These are my favorite vampy lips. This one is Media. This is a newer one. Not getting rid of that one either. It's like a matte version of those three. So these are really great vampy lips for fall winter. This is Rebel, not going anywhere. Rebel's like one of my favorites. And what do we have here? This one is Private Party. I love this color. Oh my gosh. This color is, gives me life. I just, there's something about it that is so beautiful to me. It was limited edition, but it's amazing. This is Amara, Amorous. This one is so pretty too. It's very similar. This is, uh, this is permanent Amorous. This was limited edition. So if you like this color, try this Amorous. Beautiful. It's a satin. This is really gorgeous. I need to wear that. And then this one is Modesty, which I love. Great, great nude. I don't know why these are, these must have been in my purse or something. So that's why they're out of order here. Okay, now we're gonna move into some pinks and some reds. Uh, this is Steady Going. This is beautiful. Um, it might've been limited edition, it's a little matte. It's a little drying, but that's a really pretty pink. So I'm gonna keep that. 
This was also from the Kelly Osborne collection. This one is Kelly Yum Yum, which is so bright, but it's really pretty. So I'm gonna keep it, and I like the packaging. So that's enough justification for me. This one is Silly. This is also a matte. I'm gonna try to wear some of these brighter colors again. It kind of got out of the bright colors for a while. So I'm gonna try to get back into it. This one's Cat Candy Yum Yum. Really, really bright. It's kind of like a cult classic. I'm just gonna keep it because I do like that color, even though I don't wear it very often. Embrace Me is one of my favorites. It's a really beautiful, deeper, brighter pink. So I'll keep that. Show Orchid. This one is Amplified, but look at this. This is like crazy pigmented. Look at that. So beautiful. I'm gonna keep that one. This one is Happy Go Lucky. I've never even worn this. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Keep that. Outrageously Fun is one of my favorites. It's like a purple pink. Oh my God, that color, that color gives me life. Outrageously Fun, do not know if it's limited edition or not. Um, this was obviously a limited edition collection, but if it is re-promoted, I highly recommend it. This one's Daddy's Little Girl. I like this color too. It's a really pretty purpley pink. A lot of these look alike, but I don't know. I'm obviously attracted to this shade. Um, this one's Lickable. I believe this is in the permanent line, but this was limited edition packaging. You need this color in your life. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Yes, keeping Lickable. This one is Flat Out Fabulous, another one of my favorites. You need this in your life too. That is a beautiful color. Flat Out Fabulous with um, Fashion Boost Lip Liner from MAC. Amazing combination. This one, oh, I have two flat out fabulouses because it was going to be limited edition. I think they made it permanent. Pink Pigeon, this, I'm not getting rid of this because I waited forever for this to be re-promoted. So I'm going to keep that even though it pretty much looks like all these other pinks. And Quick Sizzle, this one is really pretty too. Really bright neon pink, so I'll declutter that one too. Love Goddess, I love this one. It's a really pretty pinky red, so I'll keep that. Ronnie red, this is like a true red. I do like that color. I don't wear reds very often. So I think I got rid of a lot of reds a long time ago, but this one's Ruby Ru Ruby Woo. It's a little dried out, but that's a pretty, pretty red. I'll keep that. I just don't wear red, so I'll probably end up getting rid of all of these. Balloon red, this is pretty. It's like a pinky red. I like that color a lot. So I'll keep that. Um, Russian red, this is beautiful. I remember I heard about Russian Red from HR Collection, HRH Collection. She used to always wear that color. This next one is Charmed, I'm sure. This was from Marilyn Monroe. I do like that color. I love red, I just don't wear it very often. Uh, this is Riri Wu. I'll probably keep this because I like Rihanna and the packaging is like so pretty. Um, Runway Red, I do like this color too. Runway, runway red. I'll keep. I'm keeping all my reds because I decluttered a bunch a long time ago and just didn't film it. Relentlessly red. This one's a little bit more of a pink color, so I'll keep those. I'm gonna keep those reds. So far, I have gotten rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This first one is called Grand Dame, and this is a beautiful pinky nude. I'm gonna keep that. These are so moisturizing. I love the packaging. They still have the smell of the regular lipsticks. This one's Midnight Mambo. This was uh, maybe a limited edition. I really like this one. It's a pretty purple. They're not swatching as good because my hand is like, has MAC wipes all over them. This one's Divine Choice. I love this color. Oh my God, I love this color so much. Keeping that. These are a little pricier too. Uh, dreaminess, I'm keeping that one. I love mixing Dreaminess and um, Divine Choice together. Love that combo. This one is Style Surge. This one is a coral. I actually really like this coral though because it's not too neon, so I'm gonna keep that one. I hope I'm in focus, you guys. This one is Dream Days. Um, this one is really pretty nude, actually. I'm gonna keep that one too. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of any of these mineralized ones because I really like them. Bold Spring, oh my gosh, that one is beautiful. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. If nothing else, it's a collection video, but I did get rid of 10. Lady at Play, I'm gonna keep this. This is a brighter, brighter coral, but I actually really like the way that this looks. Especially with um, Urban Decay's lip liner in Streak. Looks amazing with that. Lush Life, I'm keeping this one. This one's beautiful. Oh my gosh, these are so creamy. 
I don't hear enough people talk about these ones. Good Taste. Ooh, that's pretty too. I bought a bunch of these a while back and then totally forgot that I had them. This one, I don't remember what this collection was called. This one is in um, Vogue and Violet. Beautiful purple. I mean, let's be real here. Gorgeous. So that's not going anywhere. This one's okay. Love Something, but I can't read it because there's a number on top. Really pretty pink. This is one of their Pro Longwear ones. Uh, yes, I'm keeping that. Holy cow, I need to wear that on my lips immediately. That color's gorgeous. Okay, um, this one is one of their Sheen Supremes in full speed. And it's a bright coral color. I'm gonna keep this one, because I really like that. And it, the formula is super nice on these. So I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of many of these, honestly. This is a Sheen Supreme and Be Behave Yourself. This was the first one I ever got. And it's a really light pink. It's a little bit of a bubblegum pink for me, but I really like the formula. And I don't know, I just, it was my first one. I can't get rid of it. Uh, this one is one of their Huggable Lip Colors in Commotion. I don't even know if they make these anymore. Oh, that's pretty. Oh yeah, I'm keeping that. That's really pretty. This one is a Sheen Supreme in Insanely It. It's a bright pinky color. Yeah, I'm keeping that. These Sheen Supremes, you guys, I'm telling you, you need them in your life. This one is Pro Longwear in Pro Longwear, and it's like a reddish orange. Um, I'm gonna toss this one, or not toss it, but get rid of this one, because I have so many reds. So, we'll put that one up there. This one is a huggable color in What a Feeling. Oh gosh, that's so pretty. You guys, this is like insane. Oh my, oh my word. Um, that's beautiful. That I'm gonna put in my purse. Um, this is so good that I'm doing this video. Okay, this is a huggable color in Feeling Amorous. And it's a pink. I'm running out of places to swatch. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, why have I not been wearing these? They've been in the background of my video and I haven't even worn them. This one is Playtime. It's a Sheen Supreme. It's like a really bright pink. I'm gonna get rid of this one just cause I have so many bright pinks, but that's really pretty. Really pretty, but I have a lot of really bright, bright pinks. This next one is New Temptation. It's a Sheen Supreme. I'm keeping that. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, well I've gotten rid of two, so that's a start. <laughs> this one is Red Dwarf. And this is a Pro Longwear. I love that color. I love that color. That's Red Dwarf, I love it. Red Dwarf, and that one was um, New Temptation. So, I'm gonna keep that too. But, we got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We got rid of 12 lipsticks. That is a huge accomplishment for MAC. So I have a couple like in the back of my head to get rid of if I don't use them, you know, in the next year or so. But 12 lipsticks, I'm proud of myself. We have a lot more makeup declutters to go. So if you like these makeup decluttering slash my collection videos, thumbs this video up and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.